to go to therapy. Like, they feel ashamed to seek for help. That is it. It is very hard for some people to seek for help. And it was hard for me, too. I spent months avoiding therapy. I knew I had to do it. I wanted to do it, but I kept avoiding it because I was like, you know what? There's people with way bigger problems than me. There is people that need it way more than me. I don't have to go over there and tell her about my superficial problems, you know, because they don't matter. Not true. Every single little thing that bother bothers you matters. Like, you need to get it out. You really need to get it out because if you leave it in there, it's just going to rot inside you and grow it's gonna become a bigger thing. So, if you don't go to therapy, don't want to go because it makes you uncomfortable, that's okay. There's other, way, other ways to let your problems out. For example, for me dancing, literally just in a dark room, some moody, sad music, dancing really helps me. Like, it really lets me take out the trash that's inside me. <laughs> Um, some other way you can let it out is singing, painting, whatever form of art. Those are all ways of expression. So if you are feeling down and you feel like you need to let something out, but you don't want to talk to anyone, then I don't know, draw a black circle and fill it with all of the things that are bothering you and then rip that thing and throw it in the trash. It is going to feel so good. Third thing that I want you to try is to talk to a friend or a person from your family, or yourself. If you hate something or something is making you upset, you can literally just go to your mom and be like, hey, I need someone to listen to me. Or hey, I don't feel good and I want to talk about it. And they are going to sit down and listen to you. Maybe they're not going to care. You know, there's people like that. Maybe they're not going to care. But at least you are saying it out loud and you're letting it out and you are going to feel so much better. I swear. So find that friend, find that parent, sister, brother, grandma, cousin, anybody. Just talk to them about what is making you upset. Maybe you'll get a different opinion. Maybe they'll be like, hey, have you thought about this, though? Like, it's not that big of a problem. Like, you can just do this with this. And you're going to be like, oh, true. And you're going to feel better. Yeah, so those were like the two things that I wanted to talk about, talking or like letting things out so that they don't stay inside you and just grow, and social media and the toxicity and you deciding what it is that you look at, you know. And now we're going to do something that I didn't do last time, which is look at your questions. So I asked you guys on a story to tell me stories, tell me themes that you want me to talk about that include self-love somehow. So I'm going to go through your questions right now and see what is up for what you guys want me to talk about. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, um, how did you learn how to love yourself? <laughs> um, uh, how do I start? I am very in the process of this still. I'm really in the process. Um, but what I'm doing to get there is I'm just starting to accept that I am the way I am. There's things that I can't change about me, and I need to accept them. If you hate something about you that you can't change, that's not fair. You can't hate, like, you can't hate a person for having, I don't know, freckles. Because they can't change that, you know? You can't hate someone for being white. Or you can't hate someone for their country, their race. You can't, you know? You can't hate them for their height. You can't hate them for the... You can't hate a person for something they can't change. So you can't hate yourself for something you can't change. So first step, accept you the way you are. I used to look at the mirror and I used to be like, why am I not like the other girls? Like, I want to be like that. I want to have dark, 
long hair and I want to have brown eyes and I want to be like, you know, like I used to be like that. And then I looked at myself and I was like, why? Like, this is the way I was made. I am the only one existing that looks like this. Okay, my mom kind of looks like me, but you get the point. And once I accepted the way I look, well, I'm still in the process, but once I started accepting the way I look, it made me feel so much better. Like, it makes me want to embrace what I have. It makes me want to show the world, look, I am different from everybody, and I look this way, and I am happy about it. Of course, it's a really long process, honestly. I think there's so much involved. Like, yeah, but just... Start by something easy, like, I don't know, unfollowing accounts that make you hate yourself. Or talking about your problems to someone. Or looking in the mirror and saying, hey, you look good today. Okay, let's see what else we have. Hmm. Ah, there's so much here that I can't, I can't find the messages. How to start loving what you see on the mirror. Okay, we just talked about that. Oh, by the way, thank you for all the videos of you guys saying I'm beautiful. I'm still receiving a bunch of them. I kind of want to make like a TikTok or something. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, if you want me to include you, send me a video of you saying I'm beautiful. Just that, just I'm beautiful. Uh, guys, there's so much here. I really don't know. Ah, wait. It's cool. I was wearing coat even in patients. I'm right. It's been five years. Ago. See, this is what we're talking about. You need to love yourself. I have those days too. Like right now, I was wearing a crop top and I decided to put a t-shirt on because I was like, oh, what if my arms look weird? You know. And it's a process. It's a long process. I can't tell you that I'm there yet, but I'm, I've taken a step towards it. And what you need to do is look at yourself and appreciate you. Say thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being the way you are. Just hug yourself. Give yourself a little pat on the back and say you are beautiful and you are perfect the way you are. Why do you feel ashamed? Because you think people are going to judge you, right? Who cares? Who cares? The only person that matters is you. If the other people are going around and they think, or they don't like you, like, who cares? Are they your friends? Are they your, I don't know, your mom? Like, no one cares about their opinions. Let them be whatever they want. Once they see you out there being yourself, living your life, they're going to be like, wow, I want that. I have seen so many people in my life who love themselves, and sometimes I've even been like, mm, like, I wouldn't wear that, or like, oh, wow, like, they're weird. But then, really deep inside of me, I've been like, I don't want that. I don't want to be their friend. I want to be like them. I want to love myself as much as them. So once you start showing people who you really are and you start showing them how how like how much you love yourself, they're going to want to be with you. They're going to like you the way you are. They're not going to care. Like I don't think anyone actually cares about how you look. Like think about it. Do you think my neighbor sees me and he's like, "Oh my gosh, she looks ugly today." Like no. And if he is then F you, because I don't care. I'm going to look ugly if I want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, just let go of whatever is bothering you. Don't care about other people's opinions. And let yourself out there. Let people really get to know you. Let's see what else we have here. I love you guys too. <laughs> Sorry, there's so much stuff here, so I'm trying to find something. Honestly, okay, just something I need to say. Stop saying or stop writing 
about yourself like you hate yourself. Just stop it. There's no point in it. There is no point. Like, you can laugh about it. Like, I just did. I was like, if I want to look ugly, I can look ugly. But if you write a message to someone saying, I'm ugly, I hate myself, there's no point in it because you are just reminding yourself. There's no point. Just say, you know what? I don't feel that great today. Or, you know what? I don't have to feel that great every day. But then go in the mirror and say you are beautiful instead of saying I hate you or like avoiding yourself. Just stop doing that to yourself. Don't deserve that. You don't want anyone to call you that. So why would you call yourself that? something that they have like if someone hates on you someone over here also said opinion and bullying i think whenever someone sees a flaw in you it is something that they have and they are insecure about so if someone's picking on your anxiety or something like that it probably is because they have it or they feel insecure about it and it's like their way of being like, oh, I'm bigger than you, you know? I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah. You probably heard it in some movie or from some adult. When when people say something's wrong with you, they usually feel insecure about it themselves. Okay, I'm going to end this right here. So, remember, make sure what you are looking at on social media is making you feel good about yourself make sure you go to the oh oh my god we need to do the mirror i want you guys to go to a mirror right now please go to a mirror don't sit there and watch me get up and go to a mirror i have my mirror right here so we're gonna do this you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna say i love you are you guys ready are you ready three this is kind of awkward this is so awkward. Hi. <laughs> Why do I feel like... Oh my god. Okay. I love you. That felt great. Wow. It really feels good. Like, it's so different saying it like this, I love you, than to really looking at yourself in the eyes and saying it. Like, it feels like a person is saying it to you. It's crazy. So go ahead and do that. And I will see you next Wednesday. If you have any stories that you want me to read and then talk about, you can send them to my DMs. Um, and yeah, hopefully I get to read a bunch of happy stuff and lovely stuff on my DMs instead of you guys being sad. Love yourself. You are important. You are unique. And you are perfect the way you are.